What's up everybody, so Hawk 3 here, and today I am continuing, well, we're continuing with The Walking Dead Series 1, Season 1 even, um, Episode 2, Starved for Help, and we're going to get right into this, because I don't have long. Telltale Games presents. My voice may sound a little bit loud as well, because I've got my microphone right next to my face, which is my mobile phone. Three months later. Show <laughs> that there's no survivor. <laughs> Trying to back up Savannah's head. This way, I believe I can actually have my TV. Hey, what'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I don't really like rabbit anyway. We went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Well, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. Hmm. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. <laughs> We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. They do actually cut off your hand in uh, yeah, some places. You're right. Doing that. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. We'll manage. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. Lily knows it's important to keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's got to miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor end. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Hmm. Kenny won't abandon us. He's a good man. Yeah, I guess we'll see. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. He thinks I'm a danger to the group and Clementine. I think he's the one putting us in danger. The way Lily worries about his health, I wouldn't be surprised if she's been skimming rations for him. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know oh, I wouldn't want to be stuck in a I won't get killed. Didn't he punch you in the face one time? I hate that bastard. Me flat. <laughs> Got full control of Lee. I would stab that guy with in the face. <laughs> oh, bastard! Racist old man. Yeah, that shot. It's a long shot. I'd hate to waste the bullets. Trust me. If I don't think I can hit it, I won't shoot. Maybe it's best not to shoot. Shit! Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on! No, that wasn't Kenny. Who the hell was that? Come on, run, fellas. Someone's definitely in pain or, or being attacked. Oh, hello. Oh, God, it's in a bear trap. Jesus Christ. Oh, shit. No, no. Please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off. Get it off. God damn it. Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might hey, be the same guys that someone killed Travis. We barely got away from that. Another one. Oh. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? I don't know, man. Who raided your camp? I, I don't know, guys with guns. Please, we won't bother you, I swear. Please, fucked up. Gotta help me. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Good try. Out of there. Oh, God, thank you. 
fine, but you gotta hurry. Hurry, please, hurry. Seems very laggy for some reason, I don't know why. Got nothing downloading. There's no release latch. Ah, oh, bugger, I said it doesn't open. Oh no. Oh, we're gonna have to do what Rick done to Alan. We're gonna have to cut off his leg. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. You have to get him out. Please. You have to. Get me. Lee, do something. Stop, stop, stop. Please, you can't just leave him like this. Try to yeah. cut the chain. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Hurry. Oh, God, that's right. There has to be a way out of this. Come on. This can't be right. Forget it. We use chain like that. Do you think you can get it open? Let go of it. You're not cutting through that. Oh my god. Okay, right. Oh, Jesus. I want to say what Rick done to Alan. Uh, in the comics, Rick cuts Alan's leg off because he gets bit by a wolf in the prison. But because Alan and his wife left in series one of The Walking Dead in the TV show, uh, Alan was replaced with Herschel. Herschel gets his leg chopped off. Fuck, I'm just wasting ammo now. We gotta go. Oh god, there's so many of them. I'm so sorry, man. Hey, at least it's an axe. Rick done it with a hatchet. Well, he called it an axe, but it was very small. Definitely more like a hatchet. Oh, Jesus Christ. Last time. Oh. Then he stopped the bleed. Stop. His pass out. <laughs> He's stopped the bleeding. He passed out. Yeah, we got a lot of walkers coming. Get him and get the hell out of there. Let's move. Behind you, Travis! Come oh, on, come on, on. Don't we gotta move. Die. Oh, come on, you bastards, dude! Travis, run! You're making a bad example for us, Travis. Uh, for me. God damn it, Travis! Am I the only sensible Travis around here? Huh? The only one who knows what it's doing. I've been waiting for the apocalypse for years. I want to go zombie hunting. What happened? Has the TV gone off? Oh. Going hungry. Start for help. <laughs> you can see I'm playing this for the first time. I'm getting the achievements now. Oh, I hate that dude. Alright, here's here. Clementine. Is there any new survivors? Still those two. Is that Patricia? No. I don't think so. I just, I keep thinking of calling up. It's Cartier or something, isn't it? I keep thinking of. Because of, of Walking Dead comic, I keep thinking of just calling her Patricia now. Now, see, that's Lily? God, it's been so long since I played the first episode. I can't remember it very well. Give me a break. So literally, I'm playing this now. I'm cutting it quite close because this is literally. I'm recording this two days before it's up. So I'm recording this Tuesday, and it's supposed to go up Thursday. <laughs> so if it's up Thursday, I can't even remember what the date is today. I think it, well, you, you'll know. You'll know when it's up. Get the gates open. If it's up Thursday, wounded. means I made it. Shit! What the hell are they doing? But I'm going out, so I'm cutting it very close. Oh my god. What happened? Oh, what's going on? Have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay, Clem. Cat, okay. can you fix him? Yes, yeah, Cat. Lee, gotcha. I don't know. Lee! What? What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died. would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group. 
right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries. <laughs> um, Jeez. No? Fine, you guys fight it out then. Like a little family kid. Come over here and see what I drew. R what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. Kenny's right. Yeah, you're in charge of the food and the schedules, but you're not in charge of people's lives. Really? You weren't there. Lee made a choice. End of story. Look, once Katja patches that guy up, you can kick him out of here. Send him out on their own. I couldn't care less. But they at least deserve a fighting chance against the walkers. And for the record, Kenny wanted to leave those people behind. If Kenny would pull his head out of his ass for five seconds, he'd realize that I make these decisions to protect his family. We simply don't have enough food. We'll find some. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? You know what? If you think I'm doing such a shitty job, then you do it. That's all the food we have for today. You decide who gets to eat. Well, no, I'm serious. Pick up that food and start handing it out. You see how it feels to not have enough food for everyone. You only have four food items for ten hungry people. Oh, God. This is going to be a hard choice, Lee. Anyway, yeah, so... The reason I decided to side with Kenny was, well... You don't know how many times Kenny saved my life, man. You just don't know how many times he saved me. Alright, we need to walk about. We need to... I'm not giving him bloody food. Piss off. How you doing, Brother Ty? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Yeah, sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. <laughs> I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Okay. So, oh, I really should. They're kids, but... I should give them food. But then you got, like, the working people. Everyone who's working have got... Oh, Kenny's not doing anything at the minute. Hey, what's this? It's nothing. Let's talk to you. Let's talk. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Look, you've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome to come with us. I'd like that. The coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. Yeah, I suppose go to the seafront and whatnot, get on a boat. 
Could be a good idea. See how well you're doing, Katya. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure, what do you need? Sure, what do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this. Sewing up people's injuries. <laughs> but I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing. But wait, this man has no leg. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Hmm. Bookcase. Is Clem's hat going to be there? Oh. It's not going to hold up forever, just like the rest of this place. Okay, well that's good. We dug through those for food a long time ago. It keeps the walkers out. Carly's been doing the bulk of the lookout duty. She's doing the lookout duty. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Uh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. <sighs> I don't like you. Really, really don't like you, Larry. Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there. Having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah, I just hope Capture can save him. Ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. <laughs> you saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. I would love to have seen that, actually. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. <laughs> I'm going to give it to... Uh, I trust Mark more than I do Larry. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? No, because you'll probably kill Come me with it. Larry, give it a rest. I'm sure Lee is getting pretty sick of you thinking he's a danger to the group. Is that what you told him? Yeah, that's right. And what are you going to do about it? Look, I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. Right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. Wow. Well, hey. Oh. Look at the soccer ball. At least the kids have something to keep them out. What the hell is that? That looks like her hat. Better not bloody be her hat. Right. Let's <laughs> this is going to be one of those talking episodes. Lily has me handing out the food. Ooh, that can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well... If you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food, even though the guy can be a real dick sometimes. On the other hand, giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you, if he decides to take off in that RV one day. What about you? You need food, too. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Thanks, Carly. Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. Back in a bit. Right. 
Well, how you doing, Doc? I'm okay. Me and Clementine are coloring. Guess what it is? I don't know. A dog? Nope. Oh, I know. It's a goat, right? No. It's a cat. You were pretty brave when we brought those people in here. That's because I know Mom can fix him. Catch you later, Doc. Oh, God, I don't know who to give the food to. I need to... <laughs> Larry is doing a lot of work, and he is a dick. Hey, is my friend going to make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. So who are you people? Our group's gonna want to know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you ben saved Paul. was Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when... when everything happened. How you holding up, kid? Uh, He's just got here. I'm not gonna I give him any food. I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of... I don't know. Something. I'm sure you did all you could. Yeah, maybe. Relax. Yeah. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. Chopped his leg off. Lost a lot of blood. Somehow I don't think that's gonna happen. Ah, oh, right. Larry's a douchebag. But he's doing a lot of hard work. Here, Larry. Lily would want you to keep your strength up. I should shove this up your ass, but I'm too hungry. Oh, man. Just seeing the food is driving me crazy. Three pieces of food left, and I've got nine more people to feed. Well, I'm not going to feed him, so that means eight. I should really give a piece of food to the kids. Kenny. No, he'd want him to go to Duck. Carly. said earlier she's doing most of the lookouts. And then... I can't find what's her face, so I can't give her food. Right, so it's got a choice between Katya, the kids, Kenny, him, and Mark, um, Carly and Mark, and Kenny. Okay, Kenny would want the food to go to Duck. Cardi would probably want the food to go to Duck. I can't say her name properly, I'm sorry. Mark would want food, and Carly would want food. Well, she probably wouldn't want food, but, you know, she'd want... Right. I have to give something to Clem and Duck, so that's two pieces. Now I need to choose between Mark and Carly. I don't know, but I'll give Ducky some food. Hey, Duck, how about a little food? Give half an apple. Here. Oh, heck yes. Is there peanut butter? What do you think, Duck? No, probably not. You have two pieces of food left. I need to give some to Clam. I really do. Clam. Hey, Clem. You need something to eat. But then I've only got... This, but, what? I'm going to give her this and I'm going to have anything okay. else. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. One last piece of food. Save the last piece of food for someone else. Save the... Someone well, else. Some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. 
Kali or Mark. Mark Mark's doing a lot of work as well. But as they said, he hasn't been here long, plus he had he brought all the food with him. He's starving. Carly's doing a lot of the work, lookouts and stuff. She's probably knackered. Her energy's running low. We need her to keep her energy up. If she, like, passes out or something. Want something to eat? Here. Me? How about you? You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? I'm okay. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but... You don't owe me anything, Carly. She wants me to save it. Oh, there, she's up there. from you. Fine. Don't eat. No, take it anyway. Take it anyway. You need to eat. This doesn't change anything. Well, that's it. Not such an easy job, is it? No. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Oh, man, I really should have given that to Mark. Lee, Kenny, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice, but you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. Can he didn't make it, did he? he lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing. Let him go, Katja. What? He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought. I should give the food tried, to Mark. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's That's going to hold me now. Anymore. What about the other kid? Jesus Christ. That made me jump. <laughs> oh, fuck. God damn it, Mark. I knew I should have fed him. See, now he's too damn tired. Hey, I just did kick it. Piss. Oh, I'd like get in the back of the truck. Oh my god. Oh, I didn't move fast enough. Lee! No! Oh! Okay. I knew it should Maybe he would have got him straight away. He's just too damn weak at this moment. Hey, how many times do I have to kick you? Pierce? Oh. There you go. Ow. Guys, I need help. No, don't shoot it. Don't shoot it. Don't shoot it. Asshole. Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? 
What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. Wrong. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know. I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. Are you armed? Yeah, for protection. Dead could be anywhere. But uh, I think you got the upper hand here. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. That's not a bad idea. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out, see if it's legit? I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what do y'all think? Seems a bit weird. You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy in exchange. Oh well, no 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 no! Oh, I didn't mean. I didn't. I didn't. No 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 no! Fuck! Oh my god! Right. Well, I'm gonna try revert that. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is all I have time for today, because I don't want to go with them. <clears throat> but until next time. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye.